Hello YouTube, another upload in relation to how do I dry clean golden age books. Now what I have here underneath the glass is Mike from Night Tiger Comics, Captain Marvel Adventures number 27. I already cleaned and basically went over this book with my dry cleaning tools there was no wet cleaning nothing was done to that effect so stay tuned at the end of this video i am going to show a time lapse of how i dry clean this book and the tools that i used in doing it and check out the music it is van halen stylish copyright free music in dedication to my good friend Mike. I know that's his favorite band, which is Van Halen. So what do we got here? People always ask me what tools do I use to dry clean? And I know I've made many uploads in the past, but I thought maybe I would do a more particular upload in relation to the tools of at least my trade. This is Absorine. This is a necessary tool that you need to dry clean books in particular golden age books and if anyone hasn't seen this before it is a putty that you roll up and you use to clean the actual cover some people like to roll it on the surface i do that sometimes other people like to rub i do that as well you just have to be careful depending on the type of paper here I also use, as you can see, these are makeup pads. So what I do is I use these to first wipe the book clean and I change the pads frequently. Second are my white erasers. Now this is a beautiful uh, uh, eraser that I use and I use this for tight little areas. I have my big eraser and if in a second you'll see how I use the erasers. This is a sandpaper pad that I use to clean the eraser. You wanna keep it cleaned. This is an emery board that I use also to clean. This is a tool where I use sometimes to get into tight spots if I don't wanna use the eraser on colors, but you'll see in a second I do use the erasers on colors. This is a cheese grater that I use, and what I do is I grate the eraser and then I rub the particles of the graded eraser onto the book in a circular fashion. And then sometimes I like to roll the eraser particles in the absorine and then I clean as well. This is my basic general tool. It's a bone that I use when I clean and work on comics. This is a document conservation tool. And then the last thing that is necessary is the good old brush. So by way of example, let's move all of the tools and I want to show you how I basically do a cleaning, which I am not going to do a cleaning, but I'm just going to show the steps of the tools that I use in order. So let's use by way of example, this Wiz Comics 19, uh, number 78, a very cool book in my opinion. And what we do first is I first assess the book and by assessing the book I want to make sure that it doesn't have any types of crustaceans on it because a lot of times people and through the years would eat something and you can feel that there are things that are stuck to the book so by doing that if there is I use my tool and I'll gently try to scrape the actual particles that are on the cover of the book. So this is step one. Step two is I take my pads and I rub the actual covers and you wanna always go in a direction that is towards the perimeter of the book. Because if you go down, you can actually bend or rip the cover and that's something that you don't wanna do. So we'll take the pad and then we'll wipe the whole book down and check the pad. This was already clean, this book, there's really nothing coming up. So you wanna do that. So 
Second is using the makeup pads. Third, what I use is my white erasers. And when I use my white erasers, I take a comic backer board and I make a area that I wanna use the erasers on in a straight fashion. And I usually work the width of the eraser when I clean it. Now, there are a lot of people who say you don't use white erasers on colors. For me, I do use white erasers on everything. And what you have to do is you just have to take this little half inch section and gently go over the whole cover of the book. And again, this is just dealing with golden age. Sometimes I do do it with uh, silver and even with bronze, but golden age is a lot more hardier in my opinion, where the eraser can be used on the cover itself. Don't be scared that you're going to take the color off. You just have to be delicate in relation to the pressure that you are putting on the book and you constantly clean the book with your brush. Now, like I said, I like to then go over with the white eraser on the whole cover, the whole color going down, whites, reds, whatever you have. Now, the reason why I make sections like this is because the following. People get into problems when they use a white eraser, say, for instance, on a particular section of the red. So what they do is they'll focus on one section with the red, and that's when it will be too aggressive and you will lift up one little section in the actual cover in a color and it will be noticeable. So that's why these sections by an inch, half inch really work well because you're doing a consistent cleaning on the whole book and you're not concentrating your erasers on one section. So when I do a big strip like this with the eraser, I go back with my fine eraser and then I concentrate, I, I hit it again with the white sections. Now, the white sections you can be a little bit more aggressive on because you're not gonna lift any of the color. So that's how I use my white erasers on a cover. Now what I do, like I maybe mentioned, I will try to double up or I will measure, use the eraser with how I will move over the back of board and then we'll do the process again with the eraser and then we will focus on our white areas. And remember, this is common sense as well because you have to feel how you're doing it and if you feel the paper lifting or you're being too aggressive, back off a little bit. So with the white eraser, I'll continue, continue, continue until I get to the full cover. After I'm done with the full cover, what I like to do is I like to take my cheese grater standard cheese grater stealer from your wife or your husband whoever's cleaning the books in the household and I take the white eraser and I will grate I'll grate it on the book and I do a lot more than I just did when I'm really doing it but this is just by way of example then what I like to do is I like to brush all of the graded pieces of white eraser and I take my fingers, make sure your fingers are clean and I will rub it in a circular fashion throughout the whole cover. If your fingers you don't wanna use, you can use a clean brush and I like to take the erasers and I rub it. But make sure there's a lot, a lot of particles because it's really important and you want to go in a consistent fashion, back and forth, back and forth, like the karate kid when he waxes a car. So you want to do this. You want to make some more parmesan of the eraser. And you want to use a lot of it. A lot more than I'm using here by the example. But I'm just showing you how I do it. So in the future, you guys can do it on your own if you want to use this method. But use a lot more. And remember, this is also 
the um, emery board or the actual sandpaper where you want to make sure the eraser that you're using is always white and clean. Now, when you're done with going over the whole cover, and if the erasers are sort of clean, because you'll see if the cover's dirty, these white particles will turn black. So then what I like to do is I like to take a piece of the uh, Absorine. I'm gonna use a bigger piece when I do it, but I'm just using this as an example. And what I like to do is roll it up. I heat it up with my hands, and then I will go and I will roll up all of the eraser particles. And then I'll keep the eraser particles in the Absorine. And then what I do is I will clean the cover with the Absorine with the eraser particles in the same fashion as I did with the eraser. You can actually use the board, which it makes it a lot better to do it in sections like this so you know you cover everything evenly. After I'm done absorbing all of the actual eraser particles, I'll do it again, maybe with a fresh piece, and then you can roll it up and down the cover like this, and you'll see it works very well in picking up a lot of the dirt. I particularly like the uh, rubbing method like this versus the rolling method. I think it cleans a lot better the cover. I did get some criticism on Instagram by a professional restorer when I rubbed a book and he commented that you don't rub, you roll. So as it stands now, this is the simple way to go about on dry cleaning a cover, keep your workstation clean. And these are the tools that I use. And then when I'm done with using the erasers, the absorb, Reen and all of the other processes that I showed, I like to go over with a pad and give it one final cleaning, one circular fashion going. And I think this actually will buff the cover to a degree, hopefully giving it sort of a, a sheen that may not have been there in the past. So there you go. There's a quick little explanation and instructional video of how I dry clean my golden age books. I hope it helps someone who wants to undertake the task of doing it. The most important thing is, is that you take your time. Don't be too aggressive. Worry about working on the ends. You don't want to push inwards. You don't want to damage the book or bend it. And stay tuned for a time lapse for me working on Mike Night Tigers, Captain Marvel Avengers. Enjoy.